Switzerland have won their last four Group E match since opening defeats from England and Slovenia. Can England break that run? Theo Walker told us about the team briefs. To us, we get given uh, iPads in the England team uh, from all the from the media guys, and we basically we can scan on who we're playing against, what opposition, their weaknesses, their you know obviously their positives as well, and then we take that into training to see if we've been actually doing our homework basically. Um, so that's a little sort of insight to England in the dressing room what we do. You'd be happy with Rooney playing behind a front man, even yeah. though he's playing. I think it's his best position. Right. Okay. Yeah, to play behind, I really, really do. Okay. I think Rooney, um, with his back to goal, is is not he's not as happy as mm. Rooney with getting the ball and driving and, and driving with a with a forward making moves for him. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's the that's the best position for him. And with the, so, if Rooney's playing there, would that influence who would you play in the centre of the midfield? I think because you'd like to see Shelby against San Marino mm -hmm. with Rooney in there, though. Would you go a little bit more conservative? Maybe um, you could have Carrick back in the side. Maybe even someone like Delph for his industry. Well, Delph has got the legs and he's got that that, that kind of um, he's got the, the physical and the athletic kind of strength to maybe play there. I, I, did, I did find when he played against Switzerland. Over there, there, there was a little bit of a danger of him rash, rash challenges that he's making. He's booked very early. Yeah, he, he's booked very early, and that, that's something that he's got to be very careful about at this level. But yeah, you can have Delph. I'd still, I'd still go with Shelby. We're going to qualify out of this group, mm -hmm. and I think the Switzerland game is going to be one of the, um, the tougher of the games. And it'd be good to see him in a, with a sterner test because the San the Marino, side. if he plays, which I hope he does play, San Marino will be. It won't be a test for him, but. Mm. I think the test will come for him against Switzerland only in this group, and I think it's something he'll be able to deal with because we've seen him play against the Uniteds and the Chelseas, and he, he holds his own against them. So I can see him holding his own, own against um, Switzerland. So you can play anyone next to him. Delph, yes, because he's got the natural left foot. If he's on that Milner side. again. You could go Milner. You could go Carrick. Yeah. If England can avoid defeat against San Marino, Andy, they will enter the Switzerland game having already qualified for yes. the Euros. But they'll still want to beat Switzerland, obviously. Hodgson will have a plan of winning every single game in the group. They're certainly mm -hmm. on course for that. Will the approach against Switzerland be different? Do you think he'll play the same starting 11s for both games to try and suss out his best team? Yeah, I, I don't think it'll be that different. There might be a change or two. Um, but I, I think Switzerland are important in the sense that A, they've got something to play for because they want to qualify too, mm -hmm. and um, B, they're a real challenge because they're probably the best other team in the group. So um, I, I think it really is important for England to put out their best side, try and put on a performance and, and try and win it. Do you see Switzerland causing England any problems? Well, I, th I think they can. Um, one, because they've got a very good squad anyway and you know mm -hmm. we think of that you know under 17 world cup winning side and a lot of those like Zerd and Shaqiri is now at Stoke of course have made their way into that team Granit Xhaka being a, a, another one who plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach um, but they were awful when they they, they played in Basel against mm. England I surprising mean, it was, after they had a not a bad world cup yeah exactly uh, but and it was England's defining performance as, as well mm. over the qualification campaign you've got to say England played it played it really well but um, you know, Gokhan Inla, who's, who's the captain, who's of course just arrived at Leicester as well, um, he sort of set the tone for the really bad season he had for Napoli last season. He was awful in, in, in that game. And it, he'll have a lot to prove as well, especially in the country where he's just moved. Um, I think the thing that England have to watch for is Inla will attempt to dictate the game from deep. He's a sort of Pirlo-esque figure, really, who likes to play long passes over the top, which will look for the pace of Shakiri. Mm -hmm. um, of course, he made the most of that scoring goals in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And Admir Mahmedi, who's the replacement for uh, Hume Min Song at Leverkusen, who's already scored in the Champions League as well. Do you see any surprises in that England team? Much of the made of John Joe Shelby. He's had a great start to the season. He's in the squad. Do you think he could feature against this one? Uh, p perhaps. Um, but like I said, I don't think they want to go overboard with, with mm -hmm. changes. You know, you want to treat this like the, the the challenge it is, and the amount of challenges there are between now and the start of the tournament, when they have to be high intensity really quickly, are going to disappear very quickly. They're not going to be a lot of competitive um, games against quality opposition left between now and next summer in France. So, you know, they really have to make the most of this. And on the the, the wide positions, each side of Rooney, I keep I keep, keep Sterling and Oxley Chamberlain simply because the pace as well. Mm. You want to cut, you want to surround him with pace because when these players walk up. Well, Walcott. Either or, I mean, it's, I think that they've got a lot of pace. I, 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 I do like Theo, but I don't know if I could get put Theo in, in front of t in, in front of Oxley Chamberlain Sterling. or Sterling yeah. at the moment. If you're going to get Theo, maybe he'd, he'd come in here. But we've seen that when he's coming here for England, it's not quite worked out for him as the number nine. And with Rooney there, I'd like to have pace going past him. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, someone like, and you could even, even, even someone like Ross Barkley. So he could come in here. Ross Barkley could go and join him. Could go and him. join in with him, and you know what I mean, and a lot bit more creativity, um, depending on what's what Switzerland do. But I like pace with Rooney, so as he can get on the ball, and he's got people to hit. To find more coverage of the match, search Vauxhall England on Facebook or Twitter, and give them a like or follow. Scotland away to Georgia. This is an absolute must-win for, for Scotland. They're going to have to go and perhaps attack Georgia. This is what you're thinking that they may well go with. Cut the wide players, obviously, one man up top. Strachan's not changed his personnel too much. He's trusted the 